Hello guys, my name is Olubomi and I'm a proud mother of one. My name is Aima Deniji. I'm a mother of three. I have um, an older daughter and um, a set of twins, a boy and a girl. I have three kids, two girls and a boy. A lovely boy and a beautiful girl. I'm a mother of one wonderful twins. It's not been quite easy, but um, at this moment I'd like to appreciate my boss. Um, who is equally a mother and understands um, how to, I learn how to manage time from her and she also gives me the opportunity to manage um, my home front and um, work duties as well. Um, typically my day starts um, early in the morning because I have to get the children prepared for school and um, get all their stuff ready and when I get to work um, I have good support system in my house that take care of um, all the basic things that I would, my presence will be needed for while I'm away. Balancing motherhood with work is, can be very difficult, but I've been doing it and it's doable. Um, it, it involves me planning my, my tasks ahead of time, prioritizing. It involves me having to be multitasking and, and having um, clear boundaries between personal and professional commitments. I honestly can't say there's a balance. I mean, some days are easier than the others. And I try to live for each day as it comes and sometimes to meet my deadlines or to meet up with the demands of work and um, motherhood, I would usually have to fall back on my support system. My husband, my mom, my in-laws, I mean, and I think that's how I've been living through each day, basically. Any of them, which one do I, do I say now? The first one is carrying him. I actually waited for about 10 years and had him. Yeah, so carrying him was my first proudest moment. Second one was that he called mama first before dada. <laughs> so, and then thirdly and probably, uh, probably the best for me. He looks very much like me and that is dad. <laughs> one of them will be when I saw my boy's name as one of the you know key flyers in his school i mean i felt so so proud um even though he's the youngest in the school but he made me proud when i get back home and they say um mommy how are you how was work and what would you like to eat sometimes i'm really proud because i see my daughter serving me food it's something that makes me happy and my son brings water i mean for me i feel that's an achievement as a mother a lot <laughs> destroy my TV, <laughs> pulling it down and then um, disconnecting everything in the house. <laughs> like he just goes to the dispenser and he takes it off and goes behind the TV and just disconnects everything that moves. <laughs> so I remember my um, two girls coming to meet me to say, oh please, we are bored. We'd like to have a baby. <laughs> and I said, and I told them, um, look i'm not up to it and they said oh let's go to the market and go and buy babies i said look they don't sell babies in the market <laughs> so you know coming to meet me to ask to say look we want, we want another baby was was um, was unexpected but anyway they got another baby they got a baby brother especially when you know we're having our play time and it's time to dance and they're copying my dance steps I mean, I always look forward to such such times because <laughs> we just keep dancing and making fun of ourselves. He had no, no teeth. I mean, I, I really love this gummy smell and if I could actually bring that back, right, it's something I would want to relieve. But thankfully, I mean, I captured some of the moments. Having the same son is <laughs> just perfect. <laughs> My boy had a, um, an accident, home accident. Um, I was really scared as a mom because um, the injury was quite big and um, being a very emotional person, seeing my son in that situation and um, uh, still being able to manage the situation because he himself was a bit stronger than me at that point and um, it was a moment um, of joy for me seeing my little boy being that strong in such a situation when I as a mother was not. My daughter is so an elderly man. And they went to meet him and say, oh, Igwe, Igwe, long may you live. See, my daughters have been watching African magic. 
Oh, so it was so embarrassing, but it was a funny moment to everybody. Um, there was an occasion we went for a friend's birthday party, and um, my son insisted on staying back until they shared the cake and did everything with the cake, you know, they were the guests. So we waited for a while, and that was not forthcoming, so I said we should leave. Um, since I know the celebrant, I informed the celebrant that we are leaving about this boy won't leave because he wanted a piece of the cake and eventually they got one for him. And when they did, they brought it to the car with the celebrant there. The moment he ate it, it was like, ah, Mommy, this is not cake, this is bread! Bread! And I didn't know what to say, I just froze. I was like, no, it's cake. Said, this is bread and it's not sweet! I was like, okay, be nice, be nice, be nice. But she was like, ah, this is just trying to pacify him because we really waited for the cake and he was not pleased. So it was quite embarrassing trying to tell a celebrant that your, your cake is not nice. Happy Mother's Day to every mother out there. Um, I'm a mom too and I know how tasking it can be. Happy Mother's Day. Love you to all the mothers. Keep being strong. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Thank you for keeping it strong. Thank you for keeping it real. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. Keep being strong. Um, and for those trying to conceive, don't worry, it will happen and it will be very beautiful. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you too. Thank you. <laughs>